you made a really good point. You, you said, I don't think Leeds are going to go down, not because then they're, they're bad, because there's worse teams in and around them. Yeah. They are awful defensively. They're a joke, aren't they? A joke. Absolutely joke. They can't defend. They're not, they're not one of them teams that can nick a 1-0. Like, it's like, almost like they have to outscore teams to be able to to win a game. And when you look at... Look, we've conceded 60 goals this season. More than absolutely anybody. 60, and you've only scored 40. <laughs> I didn't know that. 60 goals ever conceded, which is absolutely bonkers. But you're right. You look at the goals last night and it, it almost felt like... And I, I said this to you yesterday... I said I felt Liverpool would win I thought there'd be goals in there but looking at what Crystal Palace did to them second half to make it five with the players that Liverpool have got if they catch fire or hit form it could be a cricket mm. score and what happens Salah catches fire gets his goal Gatpo gets a goal Nunez gets his Jota's back scoring again but at times Leeds are so wide open that it's almost like under Bielsa it was like right he's got the ball right just whoever whatever the closest man is to you just go and press them mm. All of a sudden now they're just so wide open. They, 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 they don't stay in shape. They don't. They're not hard to play against. They're too open. There's too much gaps between the midfield. The, the distance between the centre forward and the back line's huge. You, you, they can never condense so, the pitch. So you make a good point. Under Bielsa and Jesse March as well, they they play quite attacking football. Yeah. And now this manager that they've got, he wants them. Harry Gracia wants them to play a more defensive mm-hmm. style of football if you've got a group of players that are used to playing like the, the former two managers mm-hmm. and now another one comes in how difficult is it to change your game to change your mentality is that why we're seeing Leeds at the moment like the way they are well yeah because it's a little bit like when you're struggling with anything um, like you're trying to learn a new system new what, it could be anything the first thing you do when there's a sign of trouble is you revert back to type and that's what Leeds are doing under Jesse March, mm. Bielsa. They're just so easily wide open. The, the, the goals last night, I know the, I think it's the first one's fortunate because I think it's handball. The Trent, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. But I think VAR, listen, they, they, I think they're trying to be consistent. They got one wrong at, at Manchester United, Forest. They got one wrong against Arsenal, Declan Rice. And they got that one wrong last night. But yeah. rather than giving one and not giving one, I almost would have gone, you know what? Just put a blanket over all of it, which doesn't make it right. Yeah. But they're trying to be consistent. I just think that Leeds have got to find a way of of being de- defensively more acute do you know what I mean not being so goals, wide open 11 goals conceded in the last two games <sighs> that's no good is it 8 goals in the last, second halves you don't oh, you don't think they're going to go down do you know what? I'm not saying I don't think they're going to go down but I think this season is one of them seasons where Leeds might not win another game and can still stay up just okay. because the teams around them are horrific uh, we get calls from Leeds fans 03 717 quick word about Liverpool Trent sort of in midfield I mean, yeah, started, that's they, his role they start with a flat back four but he, he, they reverted to a three and he mm. went he's, a, he's a, uh, the, the, the inverted full back yeah. and he I mean he's because of his technique and on the ball he could probably play that role better than any full back in the league yeah. like that inverted full back Zinchenko is unbelievable at it right in terms of dropping in Trent's got better technique than Zinchenko. Range of passing. So if you can get the best out of Trent playing in that position, oh my goodness, wow. How, how frustrating is it for Liverpool fans to see their side be so inconsistent? They smash Man United, they smash Leeds, they come back brilliantly against your mob yeah. second half, and then there are other games where they just they just can't put a pass together. Yeah, it must be frustrating, but they've been so consistent for the last four or five years. So this little blip that they're having, yeah. they'll be back next season for sure. Can they get top four? Nine points off Newcastle? No, right? I don't think so. You don't think they can? No. Okay. Uh, Liverpool fans can get top four, how frustrating is it, etc, etc. And Leeds fans, Benny doesn't think you're going to go down. Not because you're bad enough to go down, but there's worse teams, yeah. right? Uh, at the back of that, Benny, you've got another... There's quite a few. I mean, yeah. Some people, are, listen, that's why we love the listeners. Yeah. Belinda Carlisle. Yeah, what team? Bel- is there a team called Belinda? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Reading. Oh, that's amazing! Unbelievable. That, who said that? Who said Otis Redding? Uh, no, you just put Benty Otis Redding. Oh, Benty sent in. Good work. Oh, no, oh, that's my. your name. No, cool. you so, got so, no, someone's got it wrong here. They put Terence Trent D- Derby. Trent Derby, yeah, that works. Trent Derby, yeah. that was his name. That works. That's good. So then we've got, we got three, right? Belinda Carlisle, Terence Trent Derby, and Otis Redding. Yeah. Amazing. There you go, Ryan, your work is done. Uh, let's go to the phone lines talking about Leeds and Liverpool. 03 717 Just quickly, by the way, Judd Trump 3 2 up now against Anthony McGill, first round of World Championships. Hello, Tom. Hello, guys. You're right. Great oh, show. Thank you, Tom. Good, How are you feeling as a, a Leeds fan? You heard what Bentley said about your side. He doesn't think you're going to go down, not because you're bad, but because there's worse teams around you. Yeah, I, I, to, be, to be honest, this weekend is the weekend where I've just kind of felt that we don't. I don't feel as safe as I've always felt. I'm always confident, to be honest, and I think under Bielsa, you know, there was an element of just fearless, and I think you know Bielsa's kind of style was, you know, score more than the other team, and then 
Jesse, you you mentioned something just before the break where you said about the change of system. And I think, you know, we've still got a lot of Bielsa boys in there. Um, We've got a few of the Jesse Marsh ones that never really... The problem was with Jesse Marsh, nothing caught on with his his tactics. Uh, Yet he was supposed to be the successor from Bielsa, so it's supposed to be such a similar style. Um, So to then now try and play a complete different style of football, like last night there was... There was no attacking prowess at all. No. Obviously, we were going to we were trying to play counter attacking, but at least with Jesse Moss, at least with Bielsa, there was always that threat of the counter attack. Tom, let me ask you a question because listen, I know his first season with Leeds when he went up. Patrick Bamford, he scored a lot of goals, but his injuries have really plagued him. Certainly, the last couple of seasons has that been a big a big factor in the fact that you guys maybe haven't picked up as many points because he's been injured. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. I think other people would, would disagree with that, but um, I'm gonna say no because I think actually we've got some great attacking options. I think there's something going on at the minute with Javi Grazzi and Wilfred Nonto. I, I, I don't know how we managed to get hold of him for that price, but I think there's players like Sinistera. I think should be able to play through the middle. Uh, Rodrigo, unfortunately, has obviously had an injury as well. I don't think there's been any excuse. I don't. We can't put all that on Bamford's shoulders. It was a little bit like that when uh, Kamar Roof left with regards to in the championship. But no, I, I don't think Bamford's been the factor this year. It's to do with the the, the leaky back line, the same as last year. Mm. Um, but it's funny, you've seen some players some players flourish now under under the Javi Grazzi away mm. versus, well, I, I say flourish, I, that's, I, I've used that a bit excessively. I mean, uh, I mean, players like Junior Furbo all of a sudden can actually play yeah, football. come out their shell a bit, I know what you mean. In, yeah, yeah, in spells. And the reason why was because now, now we're playing wide versus Jesse Marsh is direct through the centre. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see, but I'm not as confident as, as what Bentley's just saying about the people around us, you know, especially when you've got people like Sean Dyche sitting in the dugout. Do you know what I will say, though, quickly, is that yeah. you look at your next three fixtures, Fulham, Leicester and Bournemouth, like, you, you, there's a chance to pick up points there. I think if we hadn't have just off the back of those two results, I think I definitely would have been feeling a lot more confident mm. than I am now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tom, when did your last phone drive? Uh, about four weeks ago, right. five weeks ago. That's too long. You know your football. Don't leave it that long next time, all right? <laughs> Cheers, thanks, Jeff. Have, have, have a lovely day. Thanks, there you go, Tom, the Leeds United fan. Mm. It's funny, it wouldn't surprise you if Leeds then won the next game, you, or the one after that you just mentioned. Because well, If they can get two wins from somewhere, if, if anyone, listen, in my opinion, and again, great friend of the show, Phil Walcott, I think Southampton are done. Do you think? Yeah, I think Southampton are done. Bottom of the league at the moment. Yeah. The, Would you say that there's a bit of a gap. Would you say, I mean, he listens to the show all the time. Uh, yeah, well, he was, he's listening. I've sent it to him now. Yeah. Um, but it, sometimes he does talk absolute garbage when he said, <laughs> when he said James Will Prowse is better than Beckham. But he's right. You could, you, just quickly, right? And le- just Leicester's quickly, the one. I just, just quickly. You know, we did the Saka or Beckham. We did yeah. it first. Mm. And then Gabby had his view on the breakfast show. Salah or Beckham. Salah, right? Yeah. No, no. And it was, and it was. Yeah, but it was the Salah one that's got the traction. All right. G- Gabby said Saka, right? He said Salah. No, he said Saka. Look, he said, I'm right. Oh, okay, yeah, listen to the clip right. again. Yeah, listen, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When you look at what Beckham, who he played for, mm. you can't even, it's not even a discussion. Like, there's no way that Saka would go to to um, Real Madrid. Saka would then no, go I, to I, PSG. I, I was talking Salah. Would, I said Salah, because that was the argument. And Salah could easily go to Real Madrid we and play. About England. I think we were talking about England. That's why. But anyway, nice to know you're both from. <laughs> Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.